So today's book is called Mayhem and it's written by Estelle, I think it's pronounced Lore, it's L-A-U-R-E, could be Lori, I don't know, and I apologize. I apologize, I don't know how to say it. Um, but this is the book called Mayhem. So Mayhem is the story of a mother and daughter who return home, really, uh, to the mother's home. She has run away much like Zeno, has run away from the homestead for various reasons and uh, brings her daughter back. So she returned, they return to the homestead uh, where the mother's sister lives uh, with a, about well, I think three kids that she has adopted um, and the daughter doesn't really know why they ever left the homestead in the first place uh, but the reason why they have left their other home is very clear when you read the book. There is some abuse there, so they're running from uh, her stepfather, basically. And so they come to this this area and they find out that there is like some serial killing going on and they're trying to figure out how they can help. Now, at first this might seem like an interesting thriller, mystery kind of book, but the real thing is that this family, especially the females in this family, um, have this magic in them, kind of like uh, that gets imbibed in them if they drink certain water and uh, it lives in this cave. So she discovers this background about her family and it is, it's kind of interesting. It's an interesting like take on uh, like Lost Boys and uh, people say the Wilder Girls. I would say also The Craft. It's kind of like a mishmash of all of these different books. Um, so they have to solve who is it that is killing these people. And what's really interesting about what she can do is once she figures out she has these powers, she can see, like, I don't know if it's thoughts or, like, memories or auras of what people, like, bad people, she can feel, like, when evil is around her and pinpoint who it can be. So a lot of times, you know, she's just standing there, all of a sudden she gets this vibration and she's like, who is it? Like, what? what is it? And she can say, you know, stay away from that person. They're not good for whatever reason. So that's part of the power that she has. Okay. But yeah, that's, it's, it, it's, it's kind of an interesting premise. Yeah, that sounds creative. I mean, I, it's not that unusual to have paranormal stories, but paranormal thriller, okay, this is, this could be interesting. I, I want to see how that abuse does come into play here. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty certain that that's going to have something to do with the story. Right. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it has something to do with some of it. Yeah, for sure. I, I liked the book. I thought it was well written, but I didn't necessarily like the ending. And that was just a personal preference. I mean, I ended up giving it four stars anyway, but I just didn't... I, it wasn't as great of an ending as I thought it could have been. I was I was just left like, oh, okay. That, like, that was my response. So, yeah, I mean, it was it was good, but I, I don't know. If you really like paranormal books, I would maybe not just paranormal, maybe like just spiritual. It is kind of a spiritual thing. Um, then you'll probably like this book, especially if you like the mystery element to it. But I'll put all that information down below, and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.